coming with me to Grand Central Terminal. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem. I love doing touristy stuff. <laughs> Even if we're going to be late to practice. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Devin, I'm glad you did it. Thanks. You're welcome. This place is so cool. Have you guys yeah. been here before? No, I haven't. It's one of my favorite places. Let me show you. Stand here. Don't move. Hello? Whoa. What? Huh? What? How did she do that? So guys, wasn't that cool? That was yeah. very cool. How did, you, how did you do that? How do you think she did that? Uh, I don't know. I think someone needs to form a hypothesis. A hypothesis? On what? A hypothesis on what? Maybe like how you got the sound from that side of the room yeah. all the way over here to this it's side of the room. something she does. Exactly. So what's your hypothesis? Uh, well, I think there's a hidden microphone over there and there's a hidden speaker over here. And so she spoke into it and it came out this way. Really? That's cool. I don't know. I feel like the architecture of Grand Central Terminal hasn't changed since it was originally built in 1903. And it didn't sound like Devin's whisper was transmitted through some audio technology. I think we should get some other hypotheses. I agree with that. Wait, okay. wait, wait. Other hypotheses? Yes. You got practice in like... It's okay. Don't Come worry. On. Don't worry. We'll be fine. Other hypotheses. Yes. Leave no question unanswered and, and no, no answer, answer unverified. unverified. Yes. Come on. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. How in the whispering gallery does the sound get from this side of the room all the way to the other side of the room? At least like the vibration of the sound waves. Because you know how like if you go in a cave and it echoes, just like the arch of the... Mm -hmm. the architecture. So you think they did the architecture sort of kind of like how a cave does? Okay, cool. What about you, Daisy? Of the art, yeah, and how you talk from one side to the other so that art like, helps it travel. So the art helps the sound travel from this side all the way over to the other side. All right, pretty cool. Okay, so like I feel like when you go into the corner, like it, it echoes back. Okay. Since it's in a corner, it will just transfer straight back. Yeah. So when you speak into the corner, yeah. the what what It'll like echo what back. what oh, echoes back? The, your your voice. Your voice? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it's like sound waves. It bounces off. So it echoes back at you, or does it go somewhere? Uh, since, <laughs> since the like architecture, yeah, since the architecture is like brown, like mm -hmm. I feel like it would just bounce back to the other corner. And you said you thought the curved ceilings, right? Yeah. So what about the curved ceilings? What is that? Uh, I just don't, I've never seen a ceiling like that before, so it, either it's a unique ceiling or it has something to do with it. Okay, cool. All right, thanks for your hypothesis. No problem. So we're here with Jordan, Jordan from Grand Central Station, and wait, 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 wait. It's Grand Central Terminal. Grand Central Terminal. Uh, uh, <laughs> there, 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 are, there are two reasons why it's called Grand Central Terminal. The second reason is trains either come here and stop or they start, so it's the end. But the first reason is it's the third building on the spot. The first one was Grand Central Depot. The second one was Grand Central Station. And so the third one is Grand Central Terminal. But there are two Grand Central Stations. The subway stop is called Grand Central Station and the post office. Oh, good to know. Thank you for that tidbit about trains. Um, but we came here with other hypotheses and other questions that we wanted to ask you, specifically about what's behind us, the Whispering Gallery. So when we're talking about the Whispering Gallery, we had a couple of our younger and older scientists give us some hypotheses about how sound gets from one side of the room all the way to the other side of the room. Um, could you as an expert tell us what either A, your hypothesis, or B, what you know about the Whispering Gallery and how the sound travels? A Whispering Gallery is going to rely on there being a portion of a circle. It doesn't have to be a half circle or a quarter circle, but that the shape of this is a circle. And in that case, the sound gets quieter only as the distance. So if you double the distance, it's half as loud. Whereas normally, if you double the distance, it would be one quarter as loud. Wow. So it's linear as opposed to the square of the distance. So because of the shape or the arc and the, the top, shape it allows the sound to travel farther without Allo decreasing the amount of sound? Correct, or okay. the same distance and be louder. So we had a couple of scientists who told us that their hypothesis was the sound was pushed into like hollow walls. Is that true or is that not true? I don't believe that that's true. Okay. I mean, no, <laughs> what, it, what it is, is it's a reflective surface and uh, the sound instead of bouncing off, like it bounces off a wall, if it's part of a circle, the sound will track the circle. 
so the sound travels the entire circle. Oh, thanks. Uh, did any of our other scientists have any hypotheses? No? Everybody got their questions answered? If we had a big arch, a bigger arch, could we have the same effect? Yes, it would have to be a portion of a circle. It could be a half a circle, a quarter circle, whatever this is. But if the distance were too great, then the sound wouldn't make it. But yeah, sure. And there are many places throughout the country that have it. And in New York, Central Park has two whisper benches. Ah, great. So there's two whisper benches in Central Park, and then there's also the whisper gallery here. And didn't you say there was one in DC as well? Yes. Um, in the old uh, house uh, room, which is now the statuary court, um, it can go in a circle, it can go in an ellipse. And if you know what the foci of an ellipse are, mm -hmm. then the communication between those would be the same as communicating across the arc. So what happened is supposedly uh, John Quincy Adams, who had been president of the United States, then became representative from Massachusetts, and the story is he never moved from his seat. And it's supposed to be because he could hear everything being said at the table ah. of the opposing party. He's a bit of a spy. <laughs> well, he was just sitting there minding, his, minding somebody else's business. Minding somebody else's business. All right. Thank you so much, oh, Jordan. You're very we really welcome. appreciate you My coming pleasure. in, debunking as well as giving our hypothesis of a couple of extra debt or a little more debt. Okay. Hmm. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we should go somewhere and test out our new knowledge. Well, I have a place that we can do science and practice. I'll show you. Let's go. We could use the information Jordan gave us and apply it to this new location. Well, do you think we could? Because scientist Jordan was talking about how there has to be like an arc or a curve. Mm -hmm. And in order for that sound to travel in and not lose any of those decibels of sound or lose less of those decibels of sound, it has to be that arc. Right. So this might not be a whispering gallery so much as it is like an acoustic effect where it sounds like bouncing off of different walls. Maybe you're right, but the place I'm thinking of is in this place anyway. So let's go there. OK, cool. Hey guys, this is the place I was talking about. You see those arches? We should be getting the whispering gallery effect here. All right, well, let's test the hypothesis. Okay, let's all right, yeah. Let's over here. All right, cool. Let's do it. Doom, 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 doom. 